Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get into that locked computer of yours that's password protected or whether it's not yours, you just want to go ahead and help someone or help yourself get into that computer and do what you need to do with that password protected computer. I'm going to show you how to do it. So for instance, let's just say for example, I want to get into my computer, but I, you know, so happen to forget my password and I keep on guessing and it doesn't work and it just continues not to work. Or even if I would just wanted to press enter on the keyboard to see if that'll take it, it it's still not going to work because I didn't put in a password. The password is required. What I'm going to do is there's a program called Conboot, and what that does, it's through a bootable media. It's either through USB or CD or floppy. All you have to do is just restart your computer, boot into it using either the CD drive or whichever, and I'm going to use the CD-ROM drive. And what's going to happen, you're going to see this come up. And what that'll do, it'll change some you know system settings. It's going to allow you to go ahead and get into that computer without any password. This is only temporary, so as you can see, once I get into my computer, I can go ahead and get into it. However, the password isn't changed, it isn't deleted, so you might want to take that into consideration on figuring on how to change that password or recovering it. I'll go ahead and enter that, then I will go ahead and press enter on my keyboard, and I'm inside my computer, as you can see right there. And I'm going to show you a couple more resources in regards to what you can get out of this. There's a couple PDF programs and books that you can go ahead and see. This is the Windows guide on how to do the CD installation, USB installation, all the tutorials. Here's the troubleshooting paper for the Conboot help. Also the CD install guide if you want to go ahead and use the image burn or if you have one yourself and also the USB guide which is quite easier than any other one. Also right here this is what you'd be getting to the PDF programs. The programs for each one all you have to do is just set them up and go through the guide as they are mentioned and that's it yeah so if you guys like this I'll have it in the show more tab and also if you guys had missed my last video what you can see is on the system properties logo there's a new logo that I have if you guys want to go ahead and change your logo there's a program that I have in my previous video I'll have it in the video response called the Windows 7 system properties logo changer so if you want to go ahead and change it to here instead of having it look like that go ahead and do so I'll have the video in the show more tab so if you guys like this video go ahead and thumbs up and until next time, see you later. All right, take care.